In this video, we're going to have a look at how to fix noise in Affinity Photo. Now, this image here was shot at 22,800 ISO. And if we zoom in closer, we can see there is a high level of unsightly noise in the image. But we can use the tools in Affinity Photo to correct this to an extent. So there are a couple of options for applying noise reduction in Affinity Photo. First of all, if you're working on a RAW file within the develop persona here, you'll find the detail panel over to the right. And there's a noise reduction option here. And the settings here are near identical to the settings that we'll find elsewhere in Affinity Photo. It's just that these can be applied to RAWs. Now there's a luminance slider here, and this helps to tackle the grainy noise. If we increase that, you can see that helps to remove that grainy noise that's affecting my backdrop, but at the expense of detail in our subject here. So now you can see our subjects looking slightly blurry. So we might want to try and fix that by adjusting luminance detail. So if we drag luminance detail across to the right here, you can see we bring back a touch of detail in our subject. I'll just reset that to its default value by double clicking. And you can see the difference in the hair here as I drag it across. We start to see a bit more detail in the hair. So that's one option for trying to bring back a bit of detail if you think your subject is looking too blurry. I'm going to just double click that slider there and double click the luminance slider too. Now if you're working with a raw file, which I'm not here, then you'll also see a default color setting applied and that tackles the color noise, the blotchy color that you might see in your image. And if you like, you can always increase that to make the effect stronger, but I don't need to use that here. Now. I'm going to show you some denoise tools elsewhere in Affinity Photo. So I'll cancel out of the develop persona here, and that brings me back to the photo persona. We have a couple of options for applying denoise here. If we go to the layer drop down here, you can see we can go to our new live filter layer options, and here we have a denoise option. If we add that, you can see this is applied as a live filter, which keeps the effect non-destructive. Now I find with the live filter layer here, if I increase luminance, you can see it's not really having a great effect on my backdrop. It's not really as strong as I like. So instead, I'm just gonna undo that. I prefer to apply the uh, denoise directly to my image layer. Now this is a destructive edit, so I'm going to duplicate my layer here before I begin with Command or Control and J, that's Command J on a Mac, Control J on Windows, and that gives me a copy of my layer there. Then I can apply my denoise directly to this pixel layer. So this time I'm gonna go to Filters, we'll go to Noise and Denoise. Now you can see as I drag the luminance slider, it has much more of an effect on that grainy noise in my image than the live filter had. So I can find a sweet spot here where I get rid of the graininess in the backdrop. And again, if I like, I can tweak the luminance detail to try and retain a bit of detail in my subject. That's one option I have available to me. Another option would be to apply different levels of noise selectively to different areas of my photo. So I'm just concentrating on the backdrop for this correction and then I'll apply another correction to my subject in a moment. So let's bring the detail down this time, somewhere around about there and I think somewhere around about there for my luminance. One other thing worth mentioning, it's best to judge your noise reduction when viewing your image at 100%. So I'm just gonna zoom out slightly and you can see that brings me to 100% view here and then I can just tweak the luminance until I think it looks right and I'm going to bring my detail down a little bit to about there. So now I've corrected for the luminance noise in the backdrop. I don't need to worry about the color noise here. I'm going to apply that. But as I say the effect is too strong over my subject. So I'm going to zoom out with command or control and zero. Then I'm gonna grab the selection brush from the toolbar over here and just paint roughly over my subject like this to select her and just whiz over her like this. It doesn't need to be a perfect selection because it's not gonna be that noticeable if we go slightly over other details like this. So once I've got a decent selection of her, I could try and improve it slightly by using the uh, refine selection tool. So I can go to refine up here and let's just try increasing the border width to 
refine the selection edge and I'm also going to go to the output option down here and set this to mask and hit apply. Now if we zoom in close again we can see that we've actually got the opposite of what we want so the strong noise reduction is being applied to my subject while the background remains untouched. So what we need to do is highlight the mask thumbnail on that layer and then we can go to layer invert and you can see now that has the opposite effect where that strong noise reduction is applied to the backdrop and my subject remains untouched. So now I'm going to apply a second denoise filter to another copy. So I'm going to highlight the background layer again and duplicate with Command or Control and J. Then I'm going to go to Filter Denoise once more. And this time I'm going to apply less noise reduction and perhaps increase my detail. So I'll set luminance to around about 20, luminance detail around about 70, and I'm happy with that, so I'll hit apply. And now if we zoom in closer to our image, and let's just toggle off all of those layers and I'll show you. So this was our original noisy photo. We used one layer to apply heavy noise reduction, then a mask to restrict that effect to the backdrop, and then we applied a second level of noise reduction to our subject like that. And if we like, we can always highlight the mask thumbnail here. If we think we want to just brush in some stronger noise reduction over areas of our image, so for example, the shadows here might require a touch more noise reduction, I can always grab my brush tool or hit B for that. And then I can paint with white to reveal the stronger noise reduction in areas of the image. I might want to lower my brush opacity slightly and then paint to apply slightly stronger noise reduction in any areas that I think need it. So there we go, that's how to use the denoise filters in Affinity Photo to fix grainy noise.